Hey guys, welcome back to my bathroom. You guys loved my Dyson video and there's some other little something that I've been holding out on you guys for about two years. Like I literally got it right before I got my Dyson and I don't know why I haven't filmed with this before. I don't know. I felt kind of a little silly because I have a similar video and that video is called my crimp teasing tutorial. Well, this video is about the volume. Okay. If you have not heard of the volume, well, I don't know. I don't know what to say about you not hearing about it, but <laughs> If you don't have it in your life, you're missing out. And I just filmed this eye tutorial look, just so you know, because I know I always get questions on that. I don't know if that video is going up before this one, or if that, or if this one's gonna go up first. Either way, I will link them both down, or both. I'll link them in each other's videos, how's that? If you don't know what the volume is, is it's a kind of like a crimping iron that has this waffle design. And what that waffle design does is it offsets your hair to create more volume, kind of like you're teasing your hair without teasing your hair. I personally think it's safe, like better for the health of your hair. And if it's better for the health of my hair, I'm gonna do it. Hence why I like transferred all over to Dyson products. <laughs> I've completely styled my hair. I'm definitely feeling a little flat right now. So let's go ahead. We're just gonna jump right in. So what I do, did I say everything I needed to do? So volume, they're all, you can see how they kind of fit right into each other like that waffle design. But volume says, you know, just crimp 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 like don't hold it i actually like to hold it because i feel like when i hold it my hairstyle lasts longer my hair stays cleaner it's another thing is i feel like i get more out of each wash and style of my hair when i volume because it like makes it so your hair doesn't like drag down and sit right on your scalp and get oily and get built up i definitely can go multiple days at least two days <laughs> with a style i I'm obsessed with having clean hair and a clean scalp. So it's harder for me to like extend even a day. And this makes it so that I can easily, easily do that and not feel dirty. When you buy your volume, you get a couple of these alligator clips. They so see they say volume right there. And I am just going to grab about uh, an half an inch to an inch away from my part. I like big hair, so I am not afraid to go close. And I also kind of don't even care if you see the volumeing. If you feel like it's too much, you can always go over that area with a flat iron where you feel like it could be peeking through. But I can rock it. I'm not afraid of people seeing the volume. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a nice little section here. You can see there's about half an inch to an inch of space to the front of my hairline. And then I don't go all the way to the back. Let's see, can you see how thick that section is? That's how thick it is. So I'm gonna grab my volume and I'm gonna hold the hair straight up. Okay, I'm gonna crouch down here so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and I'm gonna go up one, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna pull it over and let it cool while it's hanging that way. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow it to cool and over direct. My goodness, it's all stores. <laughs> okay, gonna go on to the other side, or take the next section here, and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I go one more. One, two, three, four, five. Let it hang. So each section, I start with two clips, or two crimps, okay, one, two, <laughs> and each section I go down, I add one more, and I feel like that just adds more whew, as I go down. Um, like I said, I've been using this for two years, and that is the technique that I feel suits at least my face shape the best. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And let it drop. Drop, drop. <laughs> okay, one more on this section because we got to my extensions here. Honestly, I like to do this before I put my extensions in. And I will go like all the way down to the base of my skull. Okay. 
but since my extensions are already in, so you can see lovely hair. So look at the difference. And I will just hold that up. See the difference? I'm gonna drop it. See the difference in the volume in this side as it compared to this side? It blows my mind every single time. Okay, same thing. This section, because I have this little piece of bang here that's like busted and I'm trying to nurse it to health, back to health, <laughs> I'm going to, and I've already kind of like guide it down that way. I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to take, I'm going to leave that out. But it gives me a nice guide of where to go here. I'm going to do the exact same thing. It's super exciting. I have been thinking about like broadening my horizons here on YouTube and starting to do a little more lifestyle type videos. Like I've been overhauling my closet. I buy a lot of Amazon fashion and I know a lot of people like to see that kind of stuff. I just don't view myself as like a very fashionable person. Um, but like I have to wear a lot of different things that I normally wouldn't wear for work because it's more business cash. So I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm toying around with the idea. I just kind of made over my closet and cleaned it out. Let me know if that's something you would be interested in down below. Okay. Boom. Super voluminous hair. Of course, I am not going to forget about the back here. This is where a ton of my volume comes from. Same thing, I'm gonna clip this straight forward. You can't see, so you just gotta trust yourself and feel. I like to go all the way until I hit my the top of my extensions. And bonus, it helps to hide the extensions. Well, maybe don't flip your hair back when there's a clip in it. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. Super voluminous. And then I'll show you what I do from this point. I like to put in my dry shampoo at this point of, the, of my hairstyle. Let me grab it, hold on. So I have two favorites right now. One is the Vigmore dry shampoo, and then the other is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo. The Perfect Hair Day has more of a white cast to it. Right now, it's been a minute since I've had my hair done and I'm feeling a little dark. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for my PhD. And I'm gonna just spray all over, this one's almost out. I've got one on back up in my closet because that's how good it is. I don't even think anything's coming out. Yep, we out. That's why we keep backups. Okay, brand new one, I'm back. This is where you're gonna see how much of a white cast. <laughs> this is when you first get it. When you first spray it, it's there. But when you're blonde, I like white cast. If you've got darker hair, you'll probably don't like white cast. But the first time you use it, it's definitely a little powdery, but it's so good. 
literally feel like it cleans my hair. If you want to take it a step further, I love the Living Proof Full Dry or Full Dry Volume Blast. I was right. And I will just kind of hold my hair out and spray it. This you always want to spray like up from underneath. Boom. Shaboom. And then if you feel like you need some shine, I'm gonna grab my Kevin Murphy Shimmer Shine. This is just the best. If you haven't used this, I'm sorry. Maybe not spray it in my eyes. It just gives the best smell and it's like hair perfume. I'm obsessed with this stuff, obsessed. <laughs> okay, you guys, so that is it for my Volume hair tutorial. You can see I got hair this big without even touching a back comb. And it's gonna last like this for a couple of days. My hair is gonna stay cleaner. It's just all around a win-win. It takes like a minute and a half, really, when you're in a rush. Once you get down to your routine and you know what you're doing, it's really quick and super easy. So I hope that you guys liked this tutorial. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but I do put this on the highest heat setting, just again, because I really like to get it in there and crimp it. So yeah, I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give a big ol' thumbs up. Leave any comments, requests, questions, anything down below. I'd love to talk to you guys. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, go ahead and hit that notification bell right there and join the Ally Ann clan and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>